In this video, we're going to work on adding angles. If you are asked to add two angles together by construction, these are the steps that you would take to do that. The first thing is, we're going to start by using our straight edge to draw a line segment. This will be the base for the angle that we're going to copy. To add angles, so if what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add angle ABC plus angle XYZ, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy angle ABC onto this segment. And then from there I'm going to copy angle XYZ onto the segment. Okay, So one at a time, I'll go through the steps for cons or for for copying an angle. So the first thing that I'm going to do is copy angle ABC onto this segment. And to do that I'll take my compass and I'll put the pointed end at the vertex of the angle I'm going to copy. I'm going to make an arc. So make an arc with the compass. Then I'm going to come down here to my segment and I'm going to put the point at the end of the line segment here and make the same arc. So I made the same arc there. Now I'm going to go back to my angle that I'm copying and I want to adjust my compass so that it opens to the same width of the angle where my arc passed through it. So from this part of the arc to that part of the arc I'm going to open up my compass to match that distance. I'm going to take that now over to the arc that I just made on my line segment. I'm going to put the pointed end of my segment or of my compass down where the arc and the segment meant, met and I'm going to make a mark on the first arc. Now I'm going to take my straight edge, go back to the end point of the segment, and I'm going to connect it with where those two arcs intersected. So what I've just done is I've just copied angle ABC. Now to add the two angles together, I'm going to copy angle XYZ onto this new segment. This will be the segment that I'm starting with. And I will copy this angle onto it in this direction. So back to my compass, open it to any width because to start the copying of the angle process it's always the same. We're going to put the pointed end on the vertex of the angle we're going to copy and we're going to make an arc through that angle. We're going to now do the same thing down here, put the pointed end of the compass at the vertex, and I'm going to make a matching arc over there. Now you do want to be careful um, if your arc from the first angle that you copied looks pretty close to the angle or the arc from the second angle that you're going to copy. Make sure that you can just dis distinguish between the two of them. This is the one that I'm going to be looking at right now. Now we go back to this second angle and we open up our compass to match the width of the angle where the arc passed through it. So once I have that I'm going to set my compass. I'm going to take that distance back over here again. Right here is where that new arc intersected this side of my angle, so I'm going to put the compass, the sharp end of the compass down there, and I'm going to make a mark on that arc that I made earlier. Now where those two arcs intersect, I will connect that using my straight edge, connect that to the vertex. So my original angle was ABC. So this could be considered A prime, B prime, C prime. 
and then I copied angle XYZ onto it. So X prime, Y prime, Z prime. The final angle, copying those two together, is this larger one right here.